everyone. Welcome to the Wayfaring Panda. I'm Annette. Today I'm mass producing some cards for the Uvalde card drive and I'm using my Scan and Cut DX to draw and cut some sentiments that I designed in Brother Canvas Workspace. And so I'm just pulling up the two files and copying several of them so that I can fill up the whole paper. I probably won't use them all for my cards, but I can save the ones that I don't use for later. One thing I discovered is that if you just save the files on your computer, it saves like in the project type file, so it won't work on the scan and cut. So you need to export it either to your computer as an FCM file or export it as an FCM file to your machine. And if you have an older model, you can save it to a USB as an FCM. Then I select OK and then I select Draw and then the part of the file that I saved is a draw file which is the outline of the words come up. Then I open up the pen holder that came with the machine and I believe this comes with some of the older models also. And then you put in a small pen that comes with the machine and I believe you can order other colors. Then I just put the pen in the holder and close the clasp and then I'll put this in the holder in the machine where the cutting blade normally goes. If you haven't taken out the cutting blade, of course, you'll need to do that. And then you close it and you may have to adjust the lever on the side. There's a one and two position, but if you forget to do any of these steps, the machine will tell you to change to a pen holder or to change the lever. And then I just push start. When it's finished drawing, I just push OK and then I go in and choose cut and then the outline of the words comes up and I push OK. Of course you change to the blade instead of the marker. I use these sentiments from Dare to be RT to stamp the inside of my card and amazingly it's from Pet Sympathy but a lot of these are appropriate. So one says they may be gone from us but treasured friends are never forgotten. To lose a true friend is never easy. Know that you're in my thoughts and with deepest sympathy. This video is part of a hop with the group Card Hoppin, which is a Facebook group that came from Handmade Happiness. And if you'd like to join us, um, you can join us on Facebook. It's the Card Hoppin group. And we just pick a theme for each month and a technique. So this month, the theme is butterflies. And you could choose either Joseph's Coat or Black Magic. I have never done either one of these, but I did want to try the Joseph's Coat and I thought it would work great with making multiple cards. So I cut out some Bristol Smooth card stock with my Lawn Fawn Rectangle stitch dies and now I'm just ink blending them. So for my first panel I'm using Mustard Seed, Wild Honey, and Spiced Marmalade. And I picked these colors because they remind me of a monarch butterfly. I'm just doing this one panel on screen and I'm speeding it up and I'll probably cut out some of it because it does take quite a long time to do ink blending. Okay, so off screen I did some more panels since I'm going to make a bunch of these. So I did another with the same colors I showed on video. And then I just made some of different ones. So I made two with this color and I kind of come up with different ways to do it. And you can see they're not perfectly blended, but for this technique it doesn't need to be. So on this one I did sponge sugar, kitsch flamingo, and picked raspberry. And then I tried to do a rainbow style and just overlap these three colors so you get purple and green in there also. So this one I kind of did the same way I did the others, and this one I tried to go in stripes, kind of rainbowish, like get a different technique. So it depends how you put them on is how your image is going to end up looking. And this is candied apples, mustard seed, and salty ocean. And then of course I had to do a turquoise one because that's my favorite color. I like all shades of blue basically. But blue greens are, and turquoise are my favorites. So this one I use salvage patina, peacock feathers, and evergreen bow. Evergreen bow has a little bit more of a greenish yellow tint to it than the others, but kind of brought out different colors that way. 
And then the last two I did was purple. So this was um, lavender, seedless preserves, and dusty concord. For the Joseph's coat technique, you need to stamp your images with clear embossing powder. So first of all, I arranged all these butterflies from Newton's Nook Monarch stamp set onto my stamping platform. And this is great because then you can stamp them all at once. Also, you're using a clear ink, so it's hard to see where you stamped if you had to stamp individually. And also that way they're all arranged for each of my card bases. I'm using Versamark ink and I almost forgot to do my um, powder tool. So you want to go over your paper with a powder tool so that way the ink only sticks where you want it to. So I do stop and do my tool on this or if you don't have a tool you can use cornstarch or baby powder for that. And I stamp twice each time just to make sure I get good coverage because it's hard to see if you got good coverage when you're using clear ink. Next you want to use the clear embossing powder to do the embossing and this one goes on white so you can see that you got coverage so you might want to keep putting it on until you can tell if you've got good coverage. Uh, one thing I discovered when I did this is that some of the backgrounds really look good with the white on it so if you didn't want to do the Joseph's coat you could do this and do it white embossing powder on it. Now when you heat up the embossing powder. I go from the back and the front so that way I'm less likely to burn my paper and with the clear embossing powder you can tell when it's done because it goes from white to clear. You kind of see a clear plastic on it and of course it's fun watching it melt. As I mentioned I'm making these cards for the Valde card drive that Biddy Penny is putting on so you just go to the Biddy Penny blog to get more information and the card drive is going through July 1st if you want to participate. For the Joseph's coat, you apply black ink over the paper that you embossed and that way it'll resist where the embossed image is. So first of all, I'm trying the method of just ink blending with the black soot distress ink. Although this took quite a bit and I went over about five times and it still didn't get real dark. So then I tried some other methods which I will show. And then the last step for Joseph's coat is to wipe off the ink that may be on top of the embossing powder. So first of all I tried a dry paper towel but that didn't really work so then I used a wet paper towel but then that took off a little bit of the ink because it's distress ink and it is um, water reactive. Now this may work better with distress ink if you had a solid image. I'm going to show you how I assemble the card and then I'll show you a couple other tips I had with the ink blending. So first of all I'm adhering my card panel to my card base with Nouveau Deluxe Glue. Next I'm using this yellow orange color marker to color in my sentiment and I didn't know if it worked because this is a flare pen and I didn't know what kind of ink it was and I also didn't know what kind of ink was in the Brothers Connecticut marker so it did not bleed so it did work out. Then I'm popping up my sentiment with these pop-ups that I kind of made on my own with some chipboard and double-sided tape. You could also use glue dots or foam dots or foam squares. But I like doing this because it's a little bit more environmentally friendly and less expensive. For an embellishment, I'm adding some clear heart droplets to the front of my card and I'm using glossy accents to adhere them. I thought this went perfectly with the theme. I don't have any gold color, but if you have some gold color jewels or sequins, that would also look good. I'll put a list of all the products that I'm using in the description below. Some of these will be affiliate links. They don't cost you anything extra to use, but I do get a small commission from any sales that the links generate. And that helps support my channel and my website. And I do appreciate if you can use those if you decide to purchase any products. Next I'm trying some other techniques to apply the black ink to see if any work better and if they're faster. So first of all I'm doing direct to paper with Memento black ink. And I am speeding up the video but you can still see it goes on a lot faster than ink blending and I do get better coverage. 
Of course, the coverage also depends on how juicy your ink pad is. So I knew I wouldn't be able to use the black set on all of them. I wouldn't have enough ink since I don't have a re-inker. I also discovered when I wiped off the butterflies, I didn't have as much black ink getting wiped off. So the Memento ink definitely worked better than the Distress ink. And of course, the direct to paper method is a lot faster and get better coverage. Next, I try my Versifying Clear Black ink and I get the same results. It does go on juicier, but this is a newer stamp pad, so I don't think that's fair to compare it that way. And it seemed it did better than the Distress ink when I wiped off the butterflies, but it did come off a little bit more than the Memento ink did. Next, I tried using my brayer with the Memento ink since I like that one best. And I'm doing this just in case you didn't want to do the stamp pad directly to paper. This did work. It's faster than doing the ink blending with the blending tool, but it's not as much coverage as you get when you do the direct to paper method. As I mentioned, this is part of a hop, so I'll have a link to the next person on the hop in the description below. Please hop along and support all the other creators by liking and subscribing to their channels if you like their content. Also, you'll get lots more ideas on using the Joseph's Coat Technique and the Black Magic Technique because there's lots of different products that you could use to do this technique. At the end of this, I'm also going to put pictures of all the different cards I created. Let me know which color combination you like best. Okay, I finished all my cards. This is the original one and this is the other yellow one. You can see with the other ink that it got darker than when I was doing the ink blending with the Distress ink. And then here are the pink ones. And I used the same hearts on this one. On these two. And here's the rainbow ones. You could see they did turn out different even with the same looks. And I put the words in different places. Sometimes there was like this one, the paper got rubbed too much, so I put the sentiment over it. And then I used these on this one. And you can see the red. Sometimes most of them kind of look black even when you use the colors. So this is called Love Heart Sparklets from Buttons Glower and More. And then here's the purple ones. And on these I used this to embellish. This is Pretty Pink Posh, Pansy Jewels. And the last two are the turquoise colored ones. And whoop, piece of the and on this one, I embellished with Pretty Pink Posh Jewels, and this was Aquamarine. Now this one, the color showed up more. I want to thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a like. And if you're not already a subscriber, I'd really appreciate if you can subscribe to the channel. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.